Hey sports fans, welcome back to Rugby 101. Today we're going to talk about the scrum. A scrum occurs when there's a penalty or a knock-on. A knock-on is essentially a fumble forwards. You can fumble it backwards and continue play, but if the offense from their hands drops the ball forwards, that's when a scrum is set and it's a way to restart the game. So today we have an animation of how a scrum is set up that will uh, demonstrate for you. Before the two front rows come together, they must be standing not more than an arm length apart. Props bind with the hooker anywhere between armpit and hip. Hookers bind anywhere between armpit and hip or on top of the prop's shoulder blades. Position correctly on referee's call, crouch. Sink down into a crouch position. Face in neutral position, eyes open, looking forward. The front rows must interlock ear to ear so that no player's head is next to the head of a teammate, crouched and bound. Bend at hips and knees. Shoulders above hips at all times. Back straight, spine in line. Weight off the heels and on balls of feet. Referee will call bind. Using the outside arm, each prop must bind. A loose head prop must bind on the opposing tight head prop by placing the left arm inside the right arm of the tight head and gripping the tight head prop's jersey on the back or side. A tight head prop must bind on the opposing loose head prop by placing the right arm outside the left upper arm of the opposing loose head prop and gripping the loose head prop's jersey with the right hand only on the back or side. The props must not grip the opponent's chest, arm, sleeve or collar. Feet, hips and shoulders are all square. Following a pause, the referee will call set when the front rows are ready. The front rows may then engage. The set call is not a command but an indication that the front rows may come together when ready. Transfer scrums weight to the opposition by maintaining body position. Crouch bind set, I love it. So once the official can see that everything is safe and you're bound up properly, a scrum half from the offensive team rolls the ball in between the two scrum sides and they push back and forth. They cannot twist it, turn it in any way. That is a penalty. So what both eight players from each team are trying to do is push back and forwards and trying to maintain possession all the way to the eight man. Once the ball is to the eight man, he or she can either pick it up and run or pass it off to their teammates. So that is the Scrum episode for today. Um, if you care, like, comment, and share. We'll see you next time.